Day 78 solution. This is going to take us a little bit of time, but we're going to start by creating our template. Make a folder called template. I'm going to write a file called um, reflection.html. And I'm going to bring in my standard HTML stuff, just like last time in the head. I'm going to bring in my title and put in in curly braces title, which is going to replace that. I'm going to bring in my body, which is the visible stuff. And I'm going to bring in on H1. Actually, it's the day, isn't it? So I'm going to put day instead of title and I put day in there. Reflection. I'm going to bring that down here as well. A href can't spell today. Apologies for all of you wondering why I'm being a bit of a muppet today. I'm just going to put link in there to my code so that can be at replace of the link. I'm going to put slash a enter in there. I'm going to put see my code here. And then the last bit is just going to be the reflection itself. Now you're presumably going to put in some CSS. I'm not going to bother with that because I want to get to the meaty part of it, which is building the rest of that file. So when I load a page using that code that I've shown already, what we want to do is open up. So that's going to be template slash reflection HTML. We're going to open it in R mode for reading it. Page equals F dot read to read it in. Close the page. And then we just need to do the replacements. Now, how the replacement's going to work? Well, it's going to be page dot replace. We're going to be looking to replace day with the day number. Just check that. So we've got day, link, and reflection to do. So the page number is just this. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to replace this entire thing then with return the page date is going to be replaced by something and the reflection is going to be replaced by something. Let's go and store that dictionary. I'm going to make a blank one up here and I'm going to add to it as I go. I'm going to say my reflections from day 78 are going to be with today's date. Oh dear. Today's date being the 25th of October and the reflection being was a bit of a head scratcher, but I got there in the end. I'm also going to add a reflection in uh, for day 79. You can see what I'm doing there. I'm just adding to the dictionary as I go with some keys. So the nice thing about this then is that I can pull this up. Can't I? I can go to my reflections. Oh, not the day, the date, my reflections, page number, because that's going to be the number of the page. So 77 will go to dictionary 77, 78 will go to dictionary 78, and date. And I'm going to do the same thing for reflection. I think I call it reflection with a capital. Let's run it and see what we get. So that's not founding because there's no slash nothing, but if I bring that in, I do slash 77. We get an error, so let's see what that is. Okay, the errors here are a bit obtuse. Sometimes you have to go and identify where, where things are coming on. So we're getting a key error, so that's interesting. I wonder if these are coming in as numbers. Let's try and get rid of those and see if that works. Still no. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just try and refer to them normally. So if I go print my reflection 79 date, let's see what happens in the console there. Mm, now that's interesting. I wonder if I replace it with glo if I bring global in there. Same thing. So it wasn't the global thing. I think it is for now though. These things don't seem to be being updated, which is a bit of a problem. So what am I going to do there to bring that in? Let's declare it within the body of the instruction. Okay, let's try going to that page. Is the problem, uh, what a moron. Do I even need that? 
get rid of that stop reload and let's actually go to a page that actually exists in there ah what a mug honestly honestly the 78 and 79 are there now they probably need to be global i would imagine okay here's one way to debug it before we replace anything let's just print that out and see what what we're actually getting uh, from that list at the top from the dictionary at the top rather so refresh the page we are getting something here oh here we go we're getting this we're getting date reflection this is acting strange because those two things they are working well which means why don't i bring it in let's bring it in as data so that means if i replace that with data date data reflection that might work better let's see They're still not liking it but yeah that's definitely working so i'm getting the data aren't i it's definitely got that can i just print the reflection let's try that well i can that data's there then so i should be able to replace that with that uh, I'm not doing page equals as well, so that's a bit of a problem. So, date. Did I even put date in it? That's probably what the problem is. I haven't got date in my original HTML, have I? It's not date, it's a link. It's me being a moron this entire time. And it can't get a link now. I didn't call it link up here, did I? I call it date. This is why you need to pay attention when you're doing it. And let's just put a random REPL link in for that. I'm just going to put my day 75 solution in for both. Just I've got that open in the background. That looks good. 79. 78. Serves up a different page. Link's okay. It's quite a day.